guys, um, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Into the Future LP. Alright, so in this part, a lot is going to happen. Um, in the last part, we left off, you know, not able to get that freaking legacy statue, and it was really, really bothering me. Uh, I tried to get the legacy statue off camera, and it was just not happening. Guys, no, I don't like to cheat, especially not with my Let's Plays, like, at all. Uh, so I... It is almost impossible, near impossible, uh, for me to get it, especially in the time course that I want to. It would take me ages and ages and ages to get the Arithmicon Legacy Statue. So with that being said, I am going to do things a little bit differently. Nothing too, too crazy, but a, a bit different. Um, so pretty much how we're going to do this is Lily has already mastered her Rhythmicon skill. She found her future man, and she started her little family. There's no reason for me to, you know, keep her in the household, but just wait. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to move her out in this part. Um, you know, her and her family, obviously. I was going to get the legacy statue for her, but literally it is, it is just nuts. So I was looking at the legacy statues and which one I could do, because I still want to do a legacy statue. And Brandy actually had a winning lottery ticket just saved. You know, she just had it in her inventory. So I am actually going to have her. Well, I already had her pick up some winning lottery tickets. And pretty much how you get this legacy statue is um, you acquire the winning money and you donate 50,000 simoleons to City Hall. I know this is a really long intro. Sorry. Um, so pretty much that's what we're going to do. We're still going to get the legacy statue. We're still, you know, going to have a smaller household. And I want to work on some plum bots. So that is why I'm sticking with Brandy and them. Because I still want to do some stuff with them. And I do want to go back to the future with them and everything. So, with that being said, the longest intro ever. Now I'm going to show you Indigo's appearance. I did do it off camera. She does look a lot different. I don't know why. I think when she aged up, she kind of just uh, filled in her face a little bit more. But yeah, this is Indigo, everybody. She's absolutely, positively gorgeous. Um, I love her. I think she's so freaking cute. I really do. I think she's adorable. Alrighty, so uh, we're going to go ahead and move Lily out. Actually, she's a, she wants to be admitted for instability. <laughs> of course she does. Um, let's see. Real estate move within this neighborhood. Also, I definitely want to continue playing with Indigo, so, you know, keeping her parents here is definitely good. I definitely want to continue playing with Indigo, uh, you know, see what, see, see what she does for her life. She actually needs to go get a job or something. She's been an adult for a little while now, so, you know, let's see, Noel Freeman and Becca. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yep, that is our family. And that is that. It's been real, Lily. Love her. Love her to pieces. It's kind of sad to see Lily go. <laughs> I'm just happy that, you know, she did master her Rhythmicon skill. Look a little indigo, or act not indigo, violet over here, holding a little, little, uh, headquarter meeting. What is it? A royal court. Just like, bow down, bitches. <laughs> so yeah, we pretty much just have to wait for the winning lottery tickets to go ahead and come in. Uh, they come out at random times during the day. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wait for that. Um, but while we wait, uh, let's not just waste our day. Let's go ahead and continue reading our, where is it? Our book. Right here, Bot Building, Volume 3. We are about to master our bot building skill. And we go back into the future, uh, which we will be doing in the next part. We are going to go ahead and uh, upgrade Cosma a bit and then maybe get another plum bot. I don't know. What is what is Indigo doing? She's sitting here with like this death stare on her face. Let's actually go ahead and get her job. Let's see. 
loves the outdoors, daredevil, green thumb. Hmm, I think she would do well. She would do well. This is hard. Hmm. Feel like she would be. You know what? Let's do something a little bit different. Let's have her go join the culinary career. Um, she's not a natural cook, but that's okay. I seem I feel like she's the type of person that, you know, would enjoy cooking. I enjoy cooking sometimes. I don't enjoy cooking when I'm hungry. I know that seems weird. Like you would enjoy cooking while you're hungry. I personally don't. I would much rather, you know, have food instantly when I'm hungry, but cooking is something, you know, you could actually take your time on and make really cute recipes. I don't know. I personally love cooking when I have the time, which is rare, but I do. <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and recycle a little bit. All right. Let's actually go upstairs and um, upgrade the house just a little bit now that we, uh, you know, don't have everybody here. We can go ahead and make this Violet's room. Um, let's go ahead and give her, let's give her a very pretty little elegant princess type of room. Maybe. Maybe possibly. We can try it. Let me turn on move objects off. Move objects off. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and give her this one. It just doesn't look right to me. It just does not look right. Oh, maybe because I put this on. That's probably why. Move objects on was on, and I put that one on. That makes any sense. That did not make any sense. Actually, let's go ahead and give her a normal bunk bed. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera really, really quickly. Because I will be right back. Alrighty, guys. So the room I came up with on a budget is not that spectacular. But you know what? It will work. It's cute. So uh, pretty much it's just a nice little novelty room is how I like to think of it. Um, just really cute. Really cute and quaint. Um, so... Right here we have like the Justin Bieber, the Jonas brother of the Sims world. Um here on Violet's wall. Um we have, you know, a little oven, a little toy chest, a rainbow, and just really simple stuff. Just a simple little room for now. We're on a budget, remember that guys. Um but yeah, now uh, Indigo has her job. That's very exciting. Here she is. Leaving it. That's exciting. All right, she's going to go ahead and head home. Katrina Vanderberg would like to know if Cody Freeman would like to go on a date. He's been married for like the longest time, bitch. No. <gasps> Look, there's Lily. <laughs> so it's a no from us. It's a no for me. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and head home. Do, 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 do. We should be getting our lottery ticket very soon. Very soon. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and um, let's see. I, I, I really, honestly, right now, what I'm doing is just waiting for the lottery ticket. It's going to be like a big thing. I'm very excited. Um, that's pretty much all that I have to do right now. Just look at her face. She's like loving it. She's like, oh, this is so funny. Oh, I love it. Just kidding. She looks so... Oh, no! She's cheesing. She's cheesing real hard. Ooh, that was actually kind of scary. Not even gonna lie. Indigo's facial expressions are so amazing. She's just so pretty. Oh. <laughs> She's just so pretty and it hurts. That laugh was scary, though. Oh, wow, that was scary. All right. Oh my gosh, she ages up in two days until an elderly. That is nuts. And when does Violet age up? Five days. So her mom's going to be an elder when she's a teenager. How exciting. She's going to check out her new bed. Girl, that is all for you. 
That bed is all for you. I hope you love that bed. Yes, she loves her new bed. And Cosma, we're gonna get you a little friend, a little friend, and we're gonna make you an awesome pump plum bot by the end of this LP, which is actually in a couple of parts, which is nuts. Um, but we're gonna do what I promise. Seriously, hurry up and give me my freaking money. We have our winning lottery ticket. I want my lottery money. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so <laughs> great. Wait, wait, congratulations. I'm, I'm crazy right now. It's on midnight, so if I'm all over the place, that is why. Congratulations, Brandy Freeman. Just won 64,000 simoleons. Lovely. So then what you do to get your legacy statue is once you acquire the money, you go to City Hall, which is right here, and then donate it. We're going to go donate, uh, how do you do it? I think I have to do it a few times. Let's see. Um, right here. Donate 50,000 simoleons to the plan a future at the present day city hall. Uh, so we're going to come here and, uh, do it five times. So, uh, yeah, we, you pretty much have to donate all the money that we just got, but we did make about 10 grand off of it, which is pretty cool. Whoa. So here she is, winning it for the second time. But this time for a legacy statue and not a home. Awesome. So let's go ahead and head out. She's doing the dance. How, I love that. I love that so much. Um, but, yeah. Great wooly llamas. Brandy won the lottery. She can't contain herself. I wouldn't. If I won the lottery, honestly, I don't even think I would be able to get my money because I would have I would drop dead right then and there. I like I, I I couldn't. I would drop dead. Which is scary. That is scary stuff, guys. I will never win the lottery. Because I would well, I would never be able to enjoy it because I would drop dead right then and there. Who knows? Maybe one day I will win the lottery. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> Please. <laughs> That's a joke. But yeah, she's going to go in here at 8 p.m. at night. And uh, just go ahead and donate 50,000 simoleons. No big deal. No big deal at all. Oh, Great Wooly Llamas, Brandy Freeman. A fluctuation in the space-time continuum has, been affected, uh, has affected your descendants. So every time we donate money, I think actually our descendants in um, the future get a little bit wealthier. I think that's really cool. I, I could be wrong. I could be right. Who knows? We'll have to see when we go to the future. Very excited. We're about to get our legacy statue. Brandy Freeman doesn't need thanks for giving a fortune away from the community. Few sins can be called philanthropicness I don't know but one but only one will be remembered as the renowned philanthropionist I know I'm wrong when I'm saying that like I know that is completely wrong just bear with it guys philanthropist <laughs> f me all right so here he is here's Emmett uh and we're about to chat about our legacy statue She's like, hey, girl. She's like, no way. <laughs> She's like amazed. She's like, no way, Emmett. So, yeah, can we stop talking to you? Because I really, I, I really don't want to talk to you. Are we done here? Yeah, we're done here. We're done here. All right, Brandy Freeman is remembered. Awesome! Love, love, love it. All right, so we are going to have to go ahead and head to the future for sure. And uh, go go see our legacy statue. How exciting. All right. Uh, we're going to do that in the next part, I think. I think in the next part we're going to head to the future and check out our legacy statue. 
And it'll be Violet's first time in the future, actually. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, but for now, let's, uh, let's see, it's 2 a.m. So yeah, let's go ahead and have all the Sims head to bed. Um, yep. They all have uh, work in school tomorrow, so it's, it's probably for the best. Alrighty, guys, I will see you guys when they wake up. Alrighty, guys, so it is morning now. Cody just headed off to work, and uh, Violet is getting ready to leave. I've realized Violet is a really, really good kid. I don't even tell her to do her homework, and she does it. And she has the couch potato trait, which is kind of weird, because, I mean, I'm a couch potato, and I refuse to do anything school-related, pretty much. So that, that's pretty awesome, you know? Proud of her. Proud of her. Us couch potatoes must work together to strive to do better. I swear. I swear. All right. So, um, let's go ahead and have Indigo wake up. Yep, she can wake up. She won't be too tired. And, uh, let's go ahead and eat some leftovers. Let's have some Sharma Warma. And, um, we're going to head to the bookstore and get some cooking books. I think somebody might actually have one. Um, especially since we have so many bookshelves in here. Let's see. Let's read. Yep. Cooking volume one. Too much salt. Perfect. So she doesn't even have to go to the bookstore. She can just do it here. Um, actually, do we have a tab cast? I'm pretty sure we do. Yes, we have the multi-tab. Cody just got a visit from his boss. It seems like, uh, that the boss is pretty far behind in grading papers and was wondering if Cody could help out. Um, should Cody work harder and help out? Yes, of course. Do as your boss says. See, he, now he makes an extra six millions per an hour. That's that's just like how you do it. You just when your boss wants you to do something, you do it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and listen to the where is it? The cooking fantastic tab cast. Um, and we will actually go ahead and just do something with our day. Uh, for now, the tab cast will actually be over very shortly, so never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and read. We'll shop online for some books. We'll read our book online. Let's go ahead and get our skill building. Cooking volume one. All right, and let's go ahead and uh, read a book. I'm so dumb. I probably already had... Why didn't I click on this? I, we already had the book. Oh, well. It was only 50 simoleons. We're okay. We'll be fine. So, yep. Yeah, she's going to go ahead and read on her multi-tab for just a while. Kind of do that. Get her skill up. Uh, when does she go to work, actually? In five hours. 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's fine. Um, and Brandy needs to work on upgrading Cosma today. I do want to get her the social chip, but we have to wait to go to the future to do that because we have to get some futuristic, uh, like plants or something. I don't even know. Some futuristic doo-doo. I, I, I don't know. But we'll do that. Ooh, that looks really good. That looks really good. Yeah, but that's what we're going to do in the next part is that uh, go ahead and, you know, go to the future and do all that really, really fun stuff. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and, uh, design some trait chips, see if we know anything new. I don't know if we do, but we're going to try to see if we can, uh, make some new trait chips. I'm not sure. I really don't know. Let's see. Uh, Brandy Freeman has learned how to build the efficient trait chip. What does that do? Come here, Brandy. What is it? The efficient trait chip. Where is it? Let's actually go ahead and show our unknown schematics. Uh, we have the sentences. I don't know. Bring your plum bot one close, uh, one step closer to the sim kind with genuine, genuinely artificial thingy, whatever that is. Um, enables fun, social, and mood motives. So it's kind of like an all-in-one. So the efficient, it um, increases performance in professional uh, settings and uh, bot competitions, faster skill learning, and superior harvesting results, longer battery life, and maintenance need decreases. Um, it just makes your plumb bot just a lot nicer, I guess. Um, 
Let's see what else we have. Simulated emotions. Who couldn't use a friend? Equip your plumbot with the full range of human emotions. Um, cool, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's go ahead and see what we do have. Uh, the friendly functions is what we need. We need to go get our ch our kindness charged crystal, which is in the future, uh, that we need to get, and then um. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to do that for sure. All right. Cool. So in the next part, we're going to go ahead and do that. Not this part. Like I said, this is our probably one of our last parts here in the future. I mean, present day times. We're probably going to spend a good part or two in the future. Um, even though we're going to have to replace some beds and stuff. Actually, the girls can sleep in the same bed. Uh, they can sleep in Lily's room. That's not a big deal at all. Um... So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here, you guys. Um, Pets is going to come tomorrow morning because it is midnight and I'm exhausted. Um, so I will see you guys. Um, oh, Cody just got a promotion. He is now a middle school teacher. Awesome. So like I was saying, I will see you guys next time. Uh, Pets is coming in the morning. Don't forget to submit your house entries. I love you guys so much. And I'm sorry if I'm all over the place right now. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.